This piece of paper is worthless. I'm giving you guys a finance class right now. I spent five years in accounting. They didn't teach me this. Money is a piece of paper. It's worthless. It's garbage. It's made up. It was created out of some, some wizard. Hey, why don't we take things that are valuable, turn them into something worthless, put some important looking person dressed up in a costume. Got to put a woman on the other side, put some pretty colors on it. People will think it's valuable. It's easy to carry around with you too, dude. Do you understand back in the day, man, people were, they were carrying valuable shit around with them, carrying gold and rubies and diamonds. You couldn't get rid of that easy. They're like, we got to get people liquid. We got to get it easy for the money to roll around town, right? Who's got a match? <laughs> I just want to show you, I can tear it, I can burn it, and I can lose it, right or wrong. The most craziest thing, now before I even get started, I know some of y'all praise this man, he's this damn financial guru, this and that, but the most ridiculous thing is that all this content I'm about to show you from this guy, he posted himself on his TikTok. Nobody cut this up, chopped it up, screwed it to make him look like a damn buffoon. He did this to him damn self, man. Let's get into the damn video. What's going on? It's your boy Webb back again with another video. And today we're going to check out Grant Cardone. Now, this guy is just a damn buffoon, man. Trust me, when I was growing up, or not when I was growing up, but when I was getting to the point where I wanted to start making money and I wanted to start changing, you know, my health fitness wise and start changing my whole entire life, that was right around the beginning of college. And trust me when I t tell you that I took that deep dive just like everybody else into all different types of content all over YouTube and this damn self-help and motivation and fitness and how to do this, how to get that. Trust me, I was that guy. But the over and over time, the more and more I began to see is just these dudes are all frauds. All these people are finessers. And the one thing they all have in common is they can all speak to people. They can all talk to you as if you're somebody. You all can talk to you as if, oh, talking about this damn pen means the world to you. This pen right here is the Bible to you. They can all speak. That's the biggest thing that they all do. All these little gurus, all these finessers, scammers, all of them can speak, especially the ones that are holding seminars like this that cost 2000 5000 and so on just to attend. But before we even get into it, make sure if you're new, subscribe to the damn channel, man. We're on the road to 1,000 subscribers. The goal is to get to 1,000 subscribers before the end of the summer, which is less than two weeks away. So make sure you share the video and subscribe. Let's just hop right back into this one, man, because this dude is a damn buffoon. And some of y'all swear about this man, but no, he's cheating you. And just watch. Money doesn't grow on. It's a lie, man. Money's a paper product. It comes from a cotton bush, okay? People talk about money, don't even know anything about it. Look, this is paper. It's a piece of freaking paper. It came from a cotton bush. It gets produced. You don't even need to make money. All you got to do is collect it. People are like, I got to make some money. It's against the law to make money. Like I said before, all you got to do is be able to speak. Trust me, I'm not paying no $2,000, $5,000, $10,000 to see this man at a damn seminar for him to fucking bullshit out his ass. And trust me, I get passionate about these type of situations because these gurus, these little coaches and mentors, they're finessing y'all, man. Especially the ones that come to finance. The whole dating gurus, coaches, and mentors, that's one thing. But when it comes to these damn financial you know, gurus, they're finessing you out of their money because you have to understand, you have to pay them in order to get this information on how to oh how you're going to become a millionaire or a billionaire this is the most ridiculous things and the, it, the funniest thing is like some of the most best advice you can ever find is online for free if it's not in google it's in reddit if it's not in reddit it's on fucking instagram or something like that i don't know or on youtube for that matter but the most ridiculous thing is just the fact that like I don't know. I think a bullshit. You can't bullshit a bullshitter. You can't bullshit a person who knows how to bullshit. And in this situation, I know exactly what he's doing, and he's just priming his damn audience. That's exactly what he's doing. And yeah, that's fine. You can make jokes. You can bullshit and do all this in your seminars. But you have to understand. At the end of the day, who's making it out with the who's making it out with the money? This dude. He just got maybe a thousand people to pay him like two thousand, five thousand dollars just to see him for him to give this bullshit little advice. And yeah, I, I know he could just be saying a joke here and all his other information is true. No, it's not. Just keep watching, man. This is ridiculous. Who would give me a hundred dollars right now? Please just walk up here and give me a hundred then. I don't really need to be any Thank you, Thank you brother. There's a hundred. Two fifty. My man. God dang. I, I love you. There you go, there you go. It's a money game, folks. Look at that, man. Thank you, guys, man. Thank you, guys. 
Yeah, thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. You guys are awesome. Whoa, I can play now. Thank you. Okay, no more, no more. Thank you, brother. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, did I build value? Okay, okay, I got to take it. She's like, you got to take it. I'm going to give all this money to charity, by the way, okay? That's, that's fine. I'll just take that. Okay? With his lying ass, he ain't giving that money to charity. You know for a fact he ain't giving that shit to charity. Yeah, you could say, well, he's a millionaire, whatever that. He already got the money. Nah, you know he taking his damn uh, son and wife out to damn Ruth Chris. He going to the damn uh, Mastro's. He's going somewhere to a damn steakhouse about blow. He's going to go see Salt Bay with that money, bro. You know for a fact that he's making it running with that damn money, man. The most ridiculous thing is just like I said before you th this man is the, the, the beginning stages of a damn cult leader of a damn pyramid scheme just like most gurus are especially financial gurus mlm schemes all that other bullshit this is this is exactly this is the definition of what it is right here because they're smooth talkers they can talk their way out of a situation and when they can't they'll just bring it back to basics they'll start bullshitting about something that's just super obvious and they try to make it complex they try to make you overthink about a certain situation you saw how earlier before he was talking about oh you know money's not made on trees it's made on a, a cotton plant this and that oh it's just money he was ripping up i think a british pound or something shit the dude is is fucking stupid man he's stupid i don't there's no artistic thing that he's doing there is no deep dive analysis in what he's doing he's just bullshitting his ass he's on the clock for probably an hour for this damn seminar he's in a bullshit for the first like 15 30 minutes so that by the end of it he can just tell you some simple information you could have found off google man this dude is a fucking pawn and it pisses me off and i i'm getting real passionate right now but it's just because look how many people went up there to give him a hundred dollars for no specific reason and you can tell some of these people are are lost in their lives because they're all they're giving them hugs but you can see they really want to touch this man and these people out here are fraud i hope it's not you i hope none of the people who are watching my videos are just like this man you need to think for yourself but it's hard to say that and not have uh somebody to to make an example out of it i understand that it's hard for to just get into that mindset i definitely understand but don't do shit like this plain and simple don't do anything like this man because it's embarrassing it's ridiculous and at the end of the day you're being cheated you're being frauded you're being scanned by these so-called gurus mentors and damn coaches man how much you got on you sir let me have 100 man fantastic 250s by the way i'm gonna teach you something about money right now who's on a 50 it's a president y'all don't y'all don't know ulysses says grant this guy was a drunk he about to become my son thank you sir appreciate that <laughs> and i add to the stack okay i'm teaching you about money right now these two fifty dollar bills are not his they never were his they were somebody else's do you know who gave you these who gave you the 250s before this bank teller who gave them to her who knows she don't she took them from some stranger that's money moving you understand so how did i get this money i went from an idea to who's got my damn money my kids are going to end up with this on their feet i'm going to probably order some nikes for them with 10x on the back and it becomes what tax deductible man he he's literally telling you in front of y'all faces what he why like he's scamming you and finessing you right in your face and you think you're learning something new man this dude is so damn i gotta i gotta give props though because the, i trust me and that's why i always knew i knew i could become a motivational speaker when i was in high school because that's when i got my voice that's when i became very confident who i am and what i believe in and i know for a fact i could have become a motivational speaker because i could finesse people i could become a damn cult leader i could be i could be the next trump where all these damn people are following me even if i'm saying dumb shit because i just have that passion and that and that just assertiveness and correctness whether i'm wrong or right i just believe it so much that makes other people believe that shit man it's honestly ridiculous the craziest thing about it is just like man the world that we live in just people and and that's why i said people or there's a lot of people out here who are really gullible and especially when it comes to money because money makes the world go around as you saw in that last clip he said absolutely nothing he said he's teaching us about he didn't he didn't tell us anything anything that we, he probably bro we probably could have found that information how money circulates and the economy works we could have found that out on google let alone probably find out in damn elementary school i don't know this dude is a damn pawn but the most craziest thing is just the fact that people out here are willing to listen to these people and and that's the most scariest and dangerous part about these 
MLMs about these pyramid schemes and all these little uh, Herbalife and all, all Avon, all this other shit, man. All these gurus and mentors and people everywhere is the fact that damn Ty Lopez, my Lamborghini, new Lamborghini. All these damn people, man. They're finessers, they're scammers, and they're they're making their money off selling you courses. I don't know if you ever realized that they're making money off inviting you to a seminar they're making money off you oh you you recruit 10 people into this and we all and i'm telling you it's the most ridiculous thing and the scariest part about it is just the fact that it comes down to people who really do need money people who really want to become successful who really want to become you know millionaires or just being able to support like middle income you know middle you know middle class upper middle class there's just people who want to get there we're talking about people who are making 20 30 40 thousand dollars a year and want to you know strive to get to that upper echelon in finances and so these people are robbing and stealing them of those opportunities because yeah they may give them good advice financial advice but for every one good advice tip there's probably 10 that's straight bullshit that's going nowhere and not benefiting them at all let me know what you guys thought about the video down below, man. I get passionate about shit like this because it's just ridiculous, man. I know because I went through that trial and tribulation of, you know, getting my finances up, getting my fitness up and changing myself 100% compared to what I used to be. And so when I see people like this, and I think that's the thing too, I just know I can do it. If I wanted to become a motivational speaker, a guru, a mentor, I know I could do it because I could scam all y'all. I could finesse all y'all because of my smooth talking and you would even know I did it after 10 years after the line oh you find out you got scammed or some shit by me but you would even know because i'd keep sweeting you feet i'll keep feeding you sweet lies just like this dude is and you wouldn't know none the wiser you wouldn't be any better than the rest of these people but let me know what you guys thought about the video down below make sure if you're new subscribe to the damn channel man we're on the road to a thousand subscribers the goal is to get to a thousand subscribers before the end of the summer which is less than two weeks away so make sure you share the video also, if you want me to react, comment, or give you some type of advice, hit me up at the Darwin Speaks at gmail.com. That's where you can find me. Like I said, just make sure you're taking care of your own business. Stop listening to these damn gurus. Stop listening to these damn theoretics and, and theories. Just jump into it. I don't know how to do it. Start a business. Okay, research it online. Just don't take any advice from these gurus where you have to pay them money. If somebody wants to give you advice, get the advice for free. And if you're paying somebody for advice or certificates or anything like that, make sure it's somebody who's legitimate, who's actually giving you, uh, I would say, a receipt, meaning a, some type of certificate. Like if you want to go into real estate, no, obviously you have to go to school for that. But there's some people out here, like Ty Lopez, that are trying to get people into sell real estate without any damn certificate or license to do so man it's been your boy web peace <laughs>